In this first part of our data analysis with Google Sheets series, we're gonna take a look at the built-in functionalities of Google Sheets to analyze data. All and more coming up. Hey there, and welcome back to another video of measureschool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and if you're new to the channel, we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials, and the occasional live stream, all on the data-driven way of digital marketing here on this channel. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing down below. Now today we want to kick off our series on data analysis with Google Sheets. Now Google Sheets and Excel for that matter are still a widely used BI tool for analysis and data analysis as a whole. Now you might be able to actually analyze your data in Google Analytics for example or in AdWords but it gets so much more powerful once you pull it actually down and do your own analysis and dig through the data in the raw data and most of the times with Google Sheets. So in this series, we're gonna take a look at all these different tools that you have available in Google Sheets to slice and dice your data and get meaningful insights out of the data. And we're gonna start out with the built-in functionalities of Google Sheets and how you can do quick analysis, get a quick overview with some data. Now we got lots to cover, so let's dive in. All right, before we start in Google Sheets, we actually need to have some data available. So I've logged into the Google Analytics demo account that you can also get access to. Just check out the link in the description below. And I'm here in the conversion e-commerce product performance report where we have some nice data in here that we want to analyze. Now, the next step would be copying this out into Google Sheets. We could do this manually, obviously, but this is quite cumbersome. So Google has an export function right here that we will use. Just click on export and Google Sheets here. And we can import the data right into Google Sheets. Now, if you would like to automize this whole process, I'd recommend a tool called Supermetrics, which you can install as an add-on to your account and can pull the data directly from the API. I'm also gonna link this up in the description below. Now that we have this sheet available with all our data, Let's look at how we can analyze that data a little bit. First up, let's clean this data a bit. So up here, this shouldn't belong to our data set. We can simply mark it and press the delete button. If we wanted to put this in the first row because this is our header row, we can actually get rid of the other rows by marking them as well, right-clicking and deleting these rows. Now we have our first row as a header row. Now it's also important to visually make this data a bit more appealing. So we'll know at a quick glance what we are looking at. So up here is our header row. Let's mark this and actually make this bold. We could also change the background color here, for example, to a blue, change the font color and so on. There are many different options to actually change data and make it more accessible when you look at it at a quick glance. Now, if you scroll down this data, we actually at the end here, Let's go down even further. Have some additional data that is pulled. This is actually the data that is available from this graph here. We won't need this for now, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. And also the last row here summarizes, summates all the data above. We'll get rid of this as well because we'll do this data analysis, the summation in ourselves in this sheet. So now we are left with our raw data that we want to analyze. And this is already one of the first steps that we went through. We actually cleaned our data. We made it a little bit more accessible. So we are ready to analyze a clean data set as opposed to going back and forth between a data set that we haven't cleaned yet and need to take care of that on the fly later on. So make sure your data is in the correct format and convenient to read in order to go over to the analysis step. All right, next let's do a little bit of quick analysis with the built-in tools that we have in Google Sheets and can utilize right away when we spot something in the data that we want to analyze. So first up, how can you sort this table? Now, obviously right now it's sorted by the product revenue, but we can sort it by any kind of column. All we need to do is hover over the column that we want to sort it by. Click here on sort from A to Z. So now we get the zeros most likely up here. Now what we have just done is also sort our first 
header column. And in order to prevent this, let's go back, just press your control Z. We need to actually freeze this column. You can do this by simply dragging down this part of your spreadsheet down here. So now the first column is frozen. And when we scroll down, it actually plays, stays in place. So we'll be able to still analyze the data. Again, we'll go back here and press this time on sort Z to A. So it will show us our highest quantities first. And we can see this product has been sold most often in terms of the quantity that was put into the basket. So again, you can get quick insights by sorting these columns or finding particular outliers. So if you go back here and say, okay, these were never sold, but some have been put into the basket quite often, but never bought, maybe something to look into even further. Now, if we find anything that is strikes our analysis fancy, we can do quick analysis as well with the quick sum functions. And this is done by just simply marking the cells that you want to analyze. So for example, let's go with the first 10 products here and we are marking the quantity. And then down here in the right bottom corner, we can see a function that has quickly summed up all the values that we had in our range here of these cells. So our top 10 products that were sold make up about 9,000 units as opposed to let's mark the whole quantity column, just by clicking up here, the 17,600 products that were sold overall. So we get a quick ratio of how much the best 10 products or the most sold products are in comparison to the overall pie. In this case, it would be over a half of the products. So again, quick analysis, just through the built-in features here of Google Sheets. Once we click on this box, we can actually see other data such as the average, the minimum, the maximum, the count, and the count numbers, which are actually the numbers um, minus the header row here in the stack. So again, without doing any kind of fancy functional analysis, we have a quick overview of our data. Now you might also want to filter out data because we have a lot of values in here that maybe didn't sell anything. So right here, we just want to see the products that actually sold something. How would we achieve that? Well, there is a built-in button right here, which is this filter button. We can just click on it with our header row in focus and it will summarize our data in this table. And we get these little buttons here in our header row and we can click on this. And then we get down here all the values that are in here. You can also put in a filter condition. So for example, our cell should be greater than zero. And now it should take out all the different products that didn't sell at all. So a quick way to actually filter our data. We have other mechanisms in here. Again, we have our sorting options. We have the values. So for example, if we get rid of this, go back to normal. Let's go here to our product column and say, we only wanna have products in here that actually are by the brand Nest. Let's go back, let's clear them all and then go to Nest and then select them all that are in our list. Press okay and now we only have our Nest products here in this table and can compare that. So really a quick, very quick way to use the built-in functionality of these filter functions within Google Sheets. Let's go again to select all. So we go back and here we are back in our products. Now the last built-in feature that I wanna show you is actually something new, a big push that Google is doing in all of its products, which is artificial intelligence. And this is built into the Google Sheets product here with this explore button. So when we click on that, Google will analyze our data and give us some suggestions here of questions we might want to ask, like average of the order quantity. Let's click on that. And that would be 1.068. And this is this column that was analyzed. So we don't even have to fill in any kind of formula. It does it all automatically. We can see the formula. So this is what we would put in to this formula bar, which we'll do in another video, but it really gives us quick analysis on the fly if you are interested in these questions. 
if we scroll down, we get some graphs that were analyzed, like the basket to detail ratio. We get unique purchases, how that is distributed. And we could even ask a question about our data, like how many products And it says here how many products were sold of the maze pen count here is four. This is not quite correct. But again, the AI engine should be able at some point to pick up that we wanted to have the quantity of this product. So maybe we would need to rephrase. And now we get the correct answer back. A bit counterintuitive, but again, behind this is a machine learning algorithm that will hopefully understand in the near future all our questions that we would put into such a question and answer engine. So again, a quick way to do analysis in Google Sheets. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can use the built-in functionalities of Google Sheets to get quick insights, quick overview on your data with the built-in functionalities of Sheets. We talked about sorting your data, but also filtering it. And then we looked at the AI functionality of explore your data within Google Sheets, and hopefully you will get a little bit better to answer all our questions on the fly. Now in our next video, we're gonna take a look at some more functionalities within Google Sheets to analyze our data. We'll talk about functions, for example. So be sure to subscribe to our channel right over there. And if the video is already out, you can find it right there as well and i hope to see you in the next lesson now my name is julian see you in the next lesson